What's up guys, this is just a quick video on how to clear your shaders for Arena Breakout Infinite. It's one of my number one recommendations if you're having like insane stuttering to the point of not being able to play or your menus are also just freezing up as you browse through them. This isn't gonna fix every stutter in the game or something, but if you're like at the point where the game feels kind of unplayable, this can help a lot, especially if your shader caching just kind of broke when it first happened. Little note from the editor here, if you have no problems in ABI right now, do not do this. You have no reason to. If your game is smooth, you're lucky. Just keep playing. So what you need to do is you need to go to your users folder in your C drive or whatever your Windows install drive is. And you need to go to your username. Mine's Nuclear Tango. And then you need to go to app data, which is a hidden folder. Because it's a hidden folder, if you can't see it, you just have to go into your view options, show, and tick hidden items. This might look different if you're on Windows 10. Uh, you can probably find out how to do this easily with Google. Not a big deal though. Now, once you're in app data, depending on which driver version you have, if you have one of the latest two versions, your shaders will be inside local, Nvidia, and DX cache or cache if you're Australian. And all you want to do is um, go back to the DX cache folder and delete it. I like to shift delete it, which doesn't send it to the recycle bin. Press yes. It's gonna pop up with this, don't panic. Uh, make sure, as long as ABI is closed, this will work. You know, click do this for all current items and you're gonna press skip. And it's just gonna delete all the shaders it can, which will include ABI, as long as ABI is closed. Now, if your DX cache folder is not here and you have an older version of Nvidia drivers, it's probably in local low. Nvidia and mine used to be inside per driver version and then DX cache but as long as you find the DX cache folder you're just doing the exact same thing deleting and if it pops up with a skip tick the box and skip once that's done your shaders for ABI will be deleted but please note this will also delete shaders for anything else on your computer unless it was open while you did this process but that is not a problem it just means the they will have to re recache now i also believe if you have amd you can actually clear your shaders within the amg software and i'll try and put a screenshot up right now for that and if you want to try and do it manually though it's a very similar process i believe they're in local amd and dx cache i don't have an amd gpu so i don't have them and if they're not there, it's very similar to NVIDIA. They're in local, low, AMD, DS cache. Same thing. And you just want to do the exact same thing. Uh, delete them. Skip anything that it doesn't want you to delete. And uh, then your shaders should be deleted. Now, if this worked like I just did, you're going to launch the game like normal. You're going to skip the intro like normal. It's going to take longer than normal. And as you see in the bottom left, it's just compiling and pre-processing resources, which is shader caching. So it might not take that long, but it should take longer than your average startup. And once it's done this one time, your shaders are caged. Now, if you still have problems and the game still feels like relatively unplayable, you can just keep redoing this basically until you think it's uh, feeling better. But this isn't some magic fix. This is for worst case scenarios and it's something to try. This won't fix the stutters on first shots that a lot of us experience or just when shooting in general. But if you have that constantly, it might help. Anyway, I get asked about how to do this a lot. So I'm just making a little quick video so I can point people directly to it. If you have any problems or need to ask some questions, feel free to say in the comments or swing by the stream when I'm live. I am always happy to help. Thank you guys.